G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an anti-armor prime ultra sight Gatling laser with plus 25% damage whilst aiming and plus one agility. So I'm not actually sure whether the anti-armor prefix actually works on energy weapons. It used to not work. Then they said they fixed it, but then they broke it again at some point. I don't know. Um, maybe someone in the comments will actually be a little bit more privy to that subject than I. We've also got Hitman's plus 25. That's pretty good. I... I'd like it more than seeing blood in my urine, so sure, I'll take it, and it'll actually work this time. I've got a reflex light. Um, apparently, they didn't decide to look at the keywords of what might activate the 25% extra damage. you got to aim, but apparently scopes don't do it, so we'll be able to utilize that, and a little bit more agility. That's helpful just for the extra um, inherit AP that you get out of that, so you can sprint a little bit more, or if you're using dodgy, you can lose more AP per strike, because it's a percentage base, but that's okay. Uh, agility, I don't think is the worst. Actually, I'd kind of prefer having something like uh, weightless on this, because these guns are heavy, and you can make them even more heavy. If I was to, and we're going on the workbench again, because I want to point something out. If I was to use the beam focuser, not only will it change the green laser beams into red, but it also reduce the range, not increase the accuracy like it says here. Ray curl is negligible, it's just a spray and pray weapon anyway. But look at that, it adds like over 5 pounds, 5.4 pounds, what the hell, what is inside this? A, a glue, a circuitry, a glass, a 6 plastic, a screw, 2 silvers and a spring. Alright, well what are the springs made of? Not really sure, probably dark matter. Also, if I chuck on something like a charging barrel, I gain a lot more. I mean, the standard barrel was here somewhere. So that's 19.8, but then the true barrels, I guess they make them heavier, right? Uh, I, I don't really know what's going on there, but you get a huge weight penalty with uh, heavy guns, especially with Gatling lasers when you want to attach anything to it, especially with the charging barrels. Like, we're almost hitting 30 pounds there. We could get this well over the weight of a Fat Man launcher if we wanted to, but I don't want to. We've also got the Mind Paint. I don't know what this acronym even means. I haven't been reading what's on the uh, thing. But, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a paint for the Gatling Laser and Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. Uh, shit, perks. Let's go. 35 now, a little bit more later. You'll see. So instead of using Lock and Load, we'll be using Power User to get our ammo capacity to 1,000. And then we're going to not bother reloading at all. It'll probably still happen due to uh, Autopilot, but... We'll see if we can uh, make sure I don't do that. There's Dodgy and Action Girl for tankiness. A bit of one-gun army action there to stagger and cripple things. Helps me when uh, getting swarmed and don't want to get shot. Skeet Shooter, however, can go away. We'll replace that with Glow Sight. And possibly Grenadier if I want to throw a grenade. Because Awareness, I'm not going to use this thing in bats at all. So we'll do that. Or I could put some pick lock perks on. That's helpful. It's went from 35 to 61. Sure. Um, let's jump in power armor and see what this bad boy can do. Okay, welcome to Todd Howard's house. Here's the Gatling laser and my power armor looks like this. It's the Vertigard power armor. I'll, I'll step into light so you can see it. I think this one was the level 100 scoreboard thing from, uh, from last season and it's pretty good also i discovered something whilst messing around with this before you can actually see how much the hitman's thing does for a second if you aim down sights quickly get out of it and then uh look in your pip boy on the weapon so yeah we're getting an extra nine damage out of it but let's see if we can get even more whoa okay that was sneak criticals apparently i can stealth minigun when i'm not even trying but We'll try to aim for the head because we've got like a billion bullets flying out of this thing and it should be easy. And if my eyes do not deceive me, we're hitting around 100 damage on these guys. If we want to maintain our adrenaline so we can keep that going. And 82, aim down sights. 91. 91 for an ultrasight Gatling laser. These things, they don't mess around. Yep, we're hitting for over 100 in the head. Not as much there. And we'll continue to aim down sights. We're getting like high 80s to high 90s there. We're getting very close. If we want to get ourselves down to Nerd Rage, um, we don't have that equipped actually, but we'll have a bit of Adrenal Reaction giving us a little bit more damage. We can easily swap it out for, uh, uh, for Gunsmith 
Gunsmith? Yeah, Gunsmith. That's at rank 5 right now. Kind of not really needed because Gatling lasers, they've got a big old buff to their usability when they uh, went and fixed all of the things. And yep, we're hitting for over 100 per shot. And consider how much health these guys might have. I don't actually know how much, but uh, if for argument's sake we say they've got a thousand health, right? And you're hitting them all in their face for all of those shots. Alright, consider that. And now what I want you to watch is the ammo the ammo number on this and watch how fast those ten bullets go down. That is how fast you can kill a super mutant if you shoot him in the face. Which I think is pretty satisfying. 117 there, we're getting a little bit more. This thing is on a roll, and you know what? I'm lacking this so much that we'll pop a reload here because we're going into this room and we're going to mess them up because, you know what? These guys have been sitting here for ages. They're, they've been allowed to sit there and do nothing for much too long, so we're going to do this. Now, if I didn't want this massive zoom in, what are the odds of me just going into third person instead and aiming with that. Oh yeah. I can see around me now, so that makes it slightly more effective, I think. That was 119, that would have had to have been with uh, Tenderizer there giving me that. But that's, that's some impressive damage. I mean, the damage is probably not significant enough to run bosses with it, but for everyday mobbing, prime receiver, thousand shots in the core, I mean, still to this day, Fissurecite Prime is being nuked fairly regularly, and it's not out of the question to find a bunch of these uh, Violet Fluxes, plus uh, there's a little thing called Player Vending, you can utilize that to get some. They'll be expensive, but you can get a lot out of them, especially if you go for a perk like uh, uh, the legendary perk, Ammo Smith, because I, I wasn't running that, and I managed to get six per craft with Ammo Smith and... Uh, I'm a factory I meant to talk about. But yeah, you can potentially make this thing give a lot of bang for your buck in terms of how many kills you can make with one simple crafting. So let's take this and we'll shoot ghouls with it now. Alright, so now we can go inside here and then I'm gonna aggro everything and then I'm gonna hold them at the choke point and basically not let go of the trigger until I know everything's dead. Now, we've got Strangleheart power armor, so everything in a certain radius will take a little bit of damage over time. That'll get them up and about. Very reliable way of doing it. That's why I still haven't switched over to something like uh, the T65 yet. And plus, I don't actually like the look of that power armor that much. Looks are everything in full at, I'll tell you that much. Especially when they give you marginally better flattening damage resistance curve. <laughs> uh, protection models. It's not really damage models. I guess you could call it damage models. Anyways, here's the song of my people. A thousand ghouls dying. Remember to kill ghouls on sight. Doesn't matter if they're friendly or not. What's shooting me? Nothing, it would seem. And then Bambi runs in, tries to be a hero to the ghouls. That's what being a hero gets here. A bunch of green lasers to the face. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I got wrecked. Pride cometh before fall. It's just a damn shame these ghouls didn't have me super irradiated. Now I don't have to use the stim pack to get all of my health back. The old death reset. It's the most. It's it's nature's stim pack because. Death is very natural, it happens to almost everyone. Not me, yet, but it probably might happen. That is, of course, I don't bother to put my brain in like a Protectron in the future. I'll be right with you in a moment, Ghoul. Thank you for your patience, now die. Alright, cool. So, that probably would have worked a little bit better if I decided to pop a stim pack before holding down the lines there and letting him slip through. But that's okay, because you probably got a kick out of watching me play like an idiot, because you can't be perfect all the time. I mean, their Olympics are on. If you want to see something spectacular, go watch that. If you want to see some idiot try to play Fallout 76 and talk at the same time, well, you've come to the right place. 
Okay, morning is breaking in this universe, and if you're watching this during the night time and uh, currently having your eyes burnt out, that's a you problem. Adjust the brightness settings in your room by turning on a light and you might not go blind by the end of this video. Alright, so things are going pretty well. We end up getting 173 damage on that stupid uh, asshole dog. No crazy laser gun guy today. Oh wait, no, that was him standing there. I am the laser person today. The laser commander. That's a New Vegas reference. You can drop a like now because I talked about New Vegas. Actually, um... Speaking of New Vegas, the Gatling lasers in that game feel fucking strong, and honestly, they weren't great in Fallout 4, so it's good to have a really solid Gatling laser that isn't obviously a low health cheese approach. This is like a full health approach, and it's doing pretty good. And now I want to play New Vegas again. This is your fault, viewer. You're, you made this happen. Alright, crab time. Gonna cook them before they're even dead. That one exploded real nice. I like how they put the extra effort into making like this 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 green effect. Ha! <laughs> uh, Alright, another another hot tip if you haven't known this for a bit. Um, if you get staggered whilst firing a rotary barrel weapon like this in first person, uh, you won't stop firing, which is very nice. In third person, it'll stop you in your bloody tracks, mate. But right, I'm kind of wasting this. But if you decide to uh, just go in third person, uh, first person and tank that stagger, then you'll have no issues. Hey, look, there's another heavy gun guy. I like the green laser beams. I don't know what it what it is. I feel like um, that if you chuck a prime receiver on weapons, it should change like what the tracer or beam color is. Maybe do a nice purple color. Uh, that'd be neat. Just so if you see a player using it in Scorch Earth, you'll think, well, they, they've gone they've gone all out on getting this. And we're going to get the follow-through bonus here, too. They've gone all out on killing the Scorch Beast Queen here. Ah, what a stupid crab that died very easily, I might add. All right, we'll keep these 200 rounds in, and we'll uh, see what we can do against all of the bats. Okay, so here's what the power armor looks like. It kind of looks like T60 around the eyes in the helmet bit, but I don't know if they, like, had this in concept at Bethesda just, you know, whilst they were making the game and they decided to bring it forth in the... in, like, the meta sense of its, like, fictional power armor in this universe. I don't even know. All right, here's Prime against Scorched. If it's still multiplicative against Scorched, it'd be pretty good. I've got no reason to believe that it is because they normalized all of that stuff. They, they made it suck. That's okay. Uh, good thing about Gatling lasers, basically any weapon that's not plasma-based is its hit scan. Bugger off, would ya? Hey, you are punching me and not killing me in one shot. Did they nerf Scorched punches? Because I like to laugh about that a lot. I hit with sticks and I'll stagger you, but rifle, nah, that won't get ya. Alright, he's dropped over there. That would probably be because, uh, I don't know. I think we're getting a range penalty here, but we'll still hit it. I think I may have cracked one of its wings with uh, the one gun army perk. See, it's very useful. If that was Scorched Earth, it would have forced the Scorched Beast Queen to land and it would have made it a lot easier to hit. I need to aim the on sights. There we go. Give me that extra damage. And as a check, we're hitting for just over Hundy Paper. I mean, it's not paper damage, it's weapon card damage, because it's added it together. We'll, we'll refer to it as that. that that's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, for a non-bloodied approach weapon, pretty good. And we gotta, we get to punch through all this armor as well. Are you, now, are you going to try to hit me? You are, but it won't do you much good. And I swear we saw a 104 there as we were going... And shooting that dude in the face. 157, very nice. Now you're going to spawn. To your right, you won't. That that's the teacher. I'll feed you a spicy pebble. Alright, so I think we've kind of crushed everything super easy here. Um, wasn't really a struggle. Only died to due to my own incompetence, which is something that I can say for basically any weapon in the game, but you know, this thing's good. It kicks ass and I'm actually enjoying myself using it and I don't feel like I'm cheating the game or cheesing it to actually achieve this. So, 
If you haven't really invested in Ultra Sight Gatling lasers and you've got a Heavy Gunner character, it might be a cool little change up because the regular Gatling lasers, whilst they're all right, uh, they're the Ultra Sight ones are a cut above. And you can grab these things. Um, the plans are fairly rare, actually. Ended up getting all of the plans on my characters from the from the things, and I'm killing ghouls over here so I can have. So I can have gameplay while I talk about something. Uh, the more minor pales than Christmas presents and such. I think it's a rare drop from those. It still might be to this day. Um, you can learn the plans by mass crafting them and scrapping them. I ended up doing that. Uh, they are resource intensive. So if, you, if you've got your own private server and you can transfer from other characters. And they too happen to have the plans. Uh, you might have to do that. But uh, as far as setup goes. I mean... Actually, the prime receiver is dropped from random Scorch Beasts, and you might get it from the Scorch Beast Queen, too. She's got a guaranteed chance of a prime plan if you haven't got them all already. But there you have it. Anti-armor, Ultrasight, Gatling, Laser of the Ultrasight variety. I think I already said Ultrasight. It's prime. It's Hitman's good. Get one. Pretty good. If you want to buy this, I can sell. Maybe put them up. Give me some caps.